Okay, well I guess this is lesbian corner, pool side. Yes. I'm still Priscilla, and that's Katie. Hi. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some of you sent requests saying how we didn't explain how to come out. So, we decided we were going to describe how to come out. Well, it all depends. Like, Wait. you need to listen. <laughs> You know, that kind of hurt a little bit, but okay. Yeah. Okay, so what you need to do is figure out how your parents feel about other, how they feel about other gay people. Like, are your parents homophobes? Mine or, are. Yeah, like Priscilla's, for instance. Her parents happen to love me, though. Which is odd, but... Yes, because that was, what, the one of the first girlfriends? I, I, I don't know, I think so. Yeah. But you just need to see how they feel about other people. Is that one yours or mine? I have no idea anymore. Fuck it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's not the first time we've drunk after each other. Ah, she just hit me with a water bottle. Okay. That's on camera. Serious mode. Okay. <laughs> my parents are okay with gays because my stepmom's brother, well, late brother, was gay. And he contracted AIDS, but that's not what killed him in it. And uh, my dad's sister is gay. And so, my parents were okay with it and everything. They thought I was going through a phase. And then they kind of almost caught me and Priscilla in the act, but that was a different story. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it just depends on it. Like, you gotta give them some time. Like, a good place to go to is go to P Flag. It's a website. I went there and it, came, and it gave me all these steps to go through and stuff. And it shows all the phases that your parents will go through. My so. mom thinks I want to get a penis sewn on. I told her, well, the, I don't like penis, why would I get one? No, I don't want to be a transvestite. I'm, I'm a lesbian. I don't want a penis. You know, I sound so country when we record. Yeah, you know, we're still recording, right? Let's get back onto the topic. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love my co-star? She's <laughs> special. Okay, so... And my best friend is Ed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I forgot what I was saying. Damn you, Priscilla. <laughs> the website. No, after that. Okay, what you need to Steps do to come out. is you slowly need to express yourself, like, slowly come out of the closet. Like, if your friends don't know, let your friends know and have them for support. They, they'll ask you all these different questions and stuff. So run through the questions that you think they might ask in your head and have answers already. I mean, my friends were all just like, okay, cool, another gay girl. Yeah, that's how it was. That's how it was at Double Churches. I came out when you did, I think. Yeah, because I basically made you. I'm just like, yeah. yeah I, made I was, you come I was out. secretly dating all through 6th and 7th grade, and then 8th grade, you came out with it. I was like, shit, I'm fine <laughs> too. <laughs> I'm like, right against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but. You just need to come out to your friends first and use them as a system and slowly come out to yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you know that you're gay by whatever, and slowly just come out from there. It it takes time and everything. It took me about six months to finally come out to my parents. My sister knew already. Siblings always seem to know. So my sister was a big help and everything. When you're ready to tell your parents, just wait for one of those average days where nothing bad happened or anything like that, and just ask them if you can talk to them and sit them down and just ask them, how would you think about having a gay child? You don't have to ask that exactly, but just ask their views on homosexuality and what they think of it and all that. And just wait for them to answer, then... If it's easier, it might be easier to have a friend there with you. So they can't beat your ass. Yeah, some <laughs> parents would, like, want to kill you. Yeah. But just give them time. Eventually they come around. Have witnesses. <laughs> Shut up! You make the sound they're going to commit murder. <laughs> mine you You. Mine will. Well, mine has come close to it. I'm alright. I'm still here making stupid videos. This isn't. This is not. This is not a stupid one. I oh, know. This isn't a stupid one. This is serious. Okay. With me acting. <laughs> okay. So you just gotta slowly come out to them and just 
give them time. I mean, they'll go through, it's like seven stages. The first one is denial. The second one is not believing it, really. It's just like, oh, okay, that's, that's fine, whatever. What do you want for dinner or something like that? And then they'll go through, it's all my fault. Especially if you have a single parent, they'll blame themselves. And I think it's, you just got to tell them it's not your fault. This is just how I was programmed. My mom is always like, I didn't raise you to be gay. It's just it's just how you're programmed. No one can control it. Yep. People say it's a genetic thing. My family, every generation, there's a gay kid. In my whole class, they're talking shit, saying that there's something wrong with our hormones. Really? <laughs> okay, so you take over. Okay, um... What exactly don't move us? Huh? Put in your... Well, if you have um, parents like mine that are extremely homophobic, um, I've been trying to hide it. The best thing to do is not what I've been doing and fight with them. Because the more you fight about it, the worse it's going to get, and the more they're going to hate you for it. Just give them time. Really. Just give them time to come... Yeah. To accept it. Not every parent gets that you accept it. My dad is still hoping that I'll get married and have kids. And I don't, I don't know. I, just, I still want kids just because, like, most people say, hey, you're a lesbian. That means you don't want kids. You don't want to get married. I still want to get married. Shit, I'm going to Canada one day. I'll get married. <laughs> Maid of honor. Maid of honor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to have kids. I want, at most, five. But they're not coming out of this. You know, I'm going to get a C-section. <laughs> Actually, it's better to pop them out, because when they come out six weeks after you deliver, you're, like, better than a virgin. You're tighter than a virgin. I don't think I don't want anything <laughs> for a while. <laughs> well, did you know 85% of army wives that come back after their six weeks Mm -hmm. After giving birth, 85% of them are pregnant again. Damn. Because you're really fertile after you have a kid. You're supposed to wait six weeks. Anyways, we're going to stop recording this one and record another one because the last videos we made, I had split one and that annoyed the shit out of me. Because you don't know how to do anything. Uh -huh. Eat my dick. Anyways. You don't have a dick. So... I'll find one. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to start recording, and we'll record another one in a couple of minutes or so. You're going to get swimming first. It's hot. Yeah. It's... Mwah.